this bed thing's kind of hurting my head. I can't really figure it out. But the 2x4 is the same height as my other benches over here. And the green plywood scraps should be roughly the size of the mattress with a frame under it. So for, for it to fold out, the bench would need to slide out a few inches and then the bench would come to here. And then go back against the wall. So I, I can figure that. That's not a problem. What makes it hard is trying to match the, the slope to back when the bed is in the upright position. Which is, you know, it's easy to frame, but what do you do with it when you fold the bed down? How does it go away? So what you're looking at is going to be a bed. Um, it's a like torsion box construction. I'll have a quarter inch of plywood on both sides. And there'll be a bench in front of it. And somehow it'll be hinged. So the bench will slide out away from the wall and the bed can fold down flat with some sort of little legs to support the far side or the near side or this side. So I'm not sure how this is going to work, but uh, I built the frame and we're going to move forward. So I put together the bench part with roughly the same dimensions as these benches so they would kind of match. And the mattress support is behind it. And uh, I need to go buy a bunch of quarter inch plywood to sheath the mattress frame in the bench and we'll see how it works. So this is what it's going to look like with the bed in the down position. I'll have to put legs on these two corners. Um, the problem is in order to fold this up the bench needs to slide away from the wall, fold it flat, and then slide back to the wall. So it's gonna, it can't be fixed to the floor. I'm gonna have to make some kind of movable apparatus. Unlike the other benches, I built this one in my shop. So everything's nice and square, and it went together really easy. The benches in the boat kind of follow the irregularities of the boat, and they took much, much longer. So the bench part is complete. And it's getting ready to go into the boat and the back or the bed bottom is complete. It's also going in the boat. I can't go much further without being in the boat to make sure everything's going to fit. Progress on the fold down bed. It fits and it folds down relatively easily. This will be how big the bed is going to be kind of small. It's 68 inches long, so it's just for ladies or little people. But uh, what i got to do now is make it slide in and out easier. It's kind of tricky to get it to scooch back. The problem with matching the back to the other benches turned out to be pretty easy. I ended up uh, attaching that white masonite uh, wainscot board to a plywood backing. It hinges forward. So it lays under the bed um, platform when the bed's laid down. Here you can see it laying down, you can't hardly even see it. And then the bed lays on top of it. So that worked out well. Trying to fix my slide out bed. It wants to get jammed, it wants to get crooked. So. I screwed these little pieces of um, flooring that I ripped up on the bottom of the bed and I'm going to try to put a pair of flooring on each side on the floor and try to get them lined up right. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that but that's what I'm working on right now. So this bed folds out and it works well. But to get it to fold out, you got to slide the bottom part in and out. And that doesn't work well because it's really, really a tight fit. 
and it wants to get crooked and get stuck. So I put three little strips screwed to the bottom of this bottom box, which is part of the bed. And now I'm going to put a matching strip on each side of that strip that's attached to the bottom and I'm going to attach these strips to the floor and with some little bit of luck I'm going to put one screw in the front where I can get to it now because it's pushed further back than it normally sits I can lean over the back and get one screw in the back and uh, we'll try that and if it works I'll pull it all the way out and put the, remain the remainder of the screws in One screw in the front and one screw in the back. This is about, this is, it's never worked as well. So I'm going to pull it all the way out and put in the rest of the screws, the ones that were hidden under it. Now the weight is not on these strips. The weight's on those little white casters. These just try to keep it from getting crooked. Okay, all of, the, all of the strips are screwed down, and it still works. You can still jam it if you're not, like, halfway marginally careful. you got to be kind of careful or it'll get crooked. Okay, well, let's see if it's going to work with the mattress frame back on. Okay, the mattress frame screws from the bottom, and there's no easy way to do it. Get down in there and lay down and drill from the bottom. Right now it is pulled out farther than it will ever be pulled out. Okay, that's where the legs lock. So that is the uh, bed position. So this is the trundle bed. Um, it's working at about a 92%. It still will get jammed if you're not careful. But basically, fold the back down, remove the cushions, fold the back down, pull it out a little bit, fold the back down, push it to the wall, with it against the wall, that end of the bed is on a cleat and the front end of the bed will be on the little legs that fold down. I don't have all the hardware I need for these. They'll fold down and lock into these holes so nobody can kick them. And then the next day, you just do the opposite. Fold these up. I don't have a latch for this, so that's why the blue tape. You pull it out a little bit. 